Peace, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. In today's video, I am doing a review of the new Chanel Lilian lipsticks. So, if you would like to see what kind of colors I picked up, keep on watching. Okay, beauties, so yes, I got my hands on some Chanel lipsticks because they finally dropped in the UK. But before I show you guys which lipsticks I got, I am gonna be doing a little bit of reading up just so you guys are fully aware of what we can expect. So I'm going to read this straight from the Chanel website. The eight matte shades of the limited edition Rouge Allure Velvet Le Leon de Chanel each represent one of the feline's character traits. So yeah, Chanel came up with eight new lipsticks and I managed to get my hands on two. They retail for £33 and you can pick them up straight on the Chanel website. This is how the box came i ordered this tuesday and it came today which is friday so happy i am wearing some chanel makeup on so if you do want to know which is chanel and which isn't chanel everything is going to be linked down below in the description bar could we just look at this packaging for a second i love that is that not super cute it's kind of making me feel like i don't even want to open it because it literally looks that good okay so i got two of the lipsticks so the first one i picked up this is in the shade 227 this is the packaging this is simply how it comes now this is actually my second and third chanel lipstick i already do have one and i am slowly liking chanel's makeup but boy you gotta have the coins so yeah this is the packaging this is how it comes longevity of this is 18 months and it's also made in france so once you look on top it also does have the shade this is the rouge Allure velvet luminous matte lip color in the shade 227 guys my french is terrible let's say beige renaissance regissant so this is the packaging, oh, I love the packaging, it's literally so sleek, black, and it has the Chanel just there, and then it has the Le Leon sign there, so you have to actually click it up, and then it comes out. So I'm going to give you guys a quick swatch, so you can see how it looks. So it's right here, it's just a nude colour. I am not really someone that is into really matte lipsticks. This is, I have a couple, you guys know I have the Huda and everything, but yeah, that is how that looks. So what I'm gonna do is, because this shade is really pale, it's gonna wash me out completely. So I'm gonna try it first on its own and then I'm gonna pair it with my MAC Chestnut Lip Liner so you guys can see both ways of how it looks. on the lipstick mm. it's not very pigmented to me it's not but it's not sheer this is like medium coverage I would say because it's not completely covered if you can see but yeah it feels really creamy actually also I did apply my Too Faced balm underneath because I know these matte lipsticks can be literally so dry like proper drying so I just added it underneath so yeah what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna apply my MAC chestnut lip liner and then I'm gonna line it so you guys can see both ways of how it looks
yeah this looks a hundred percent better if i did just wear the lipstick on its own to me it would just look a bit too pale like i said with the pigment i did actually have to go in a couple times with the lipstick just to see the pigment so the pigment definitely just be prepared that you will definitely have to go in a couple times but i definitely prefer it with the lipstick i'm actually thinking of getting a lip gloss because i saw like a lip gloss they had there. i think it was in the shade caramel i'm thinking i might even just get it and then just top it off because it might look give that kind of glossy effect that I like. That is the first lipstick and that was in the shade Beige Regressant. And that is the first color. And so now I'm gonna get this one off and we're gonna put the next one on. so the next shade I got and this is in the shade beige ardent so it is the same packaging I love the packaging it's really nice and luxe longevity of this is 18 months and it is made in France once again if you look on top that is where you can find the number and the shade Again, to get the lipstick, it's gonna look like this. You will just have to, and then that's how it comes apart. That is how much lipstick that you get in there. And it has Chanel with the imprint just there. So they definitely both are nude shades that I got. This one is just a little bit deeper than this one so you can actually see the difference with the two nude shades but again I am gonna put this on first on its own and then I am gonna put it on with a lip liner or I might not even need a lip liner just to see how both ways look Okay, so my thoughts on the lipsticks. I definitely do like both lipsticks. These are my first Chanel matte lipsticks. I think this one is that the beige adjacent is definitely more of a lighter nude when you compare it to this one. This one that I'm wearing is definitely more deeper. I don't think I'd need a lip liner to wear like this. I actually have a lip gloss from Makeup Revolution. That is more or less this kind of color. I can't remember which color it is, but I actually did a whole Makeup Revolution Hydro Gloss Bomb. I literally have one that is that this kind of rusty, mauve kind of color. So if I'm gonna wear it like this, I can always put a lip gloss on top. With this shade, I wouldn't need a lip liner, but with the first one, it was just a little bit too pale for me to wear. I definitely do like the colors. I'm happy with the colors I got. I was looking at the deeper shades and I was thinking to myself, if I get the deeper shades and I don't like them, it's gonna happen. I mean, I'm hoping that these do get released in the shop soon so I can actually go out and swatch and actually see the dark colors and see how they look but it's better to go safe with what you know because I didn't want it to be a waste favorite one is this one that I'm wearing I do prefer this one the lighter shade is still nice they definitely are comfortable they do feel really soft there's no smell so that is the good thing let me know are you going to be picking up these new Chanel lipsticks and I will definitely see you guys in my next video bye